Nova Lee and I'm in the garden today. Um, I want to show you what kinds of things that I like to juice and some unique things that you can juice. Um, but first I just wanted to go to the spinach bed over here because this looks like a spinach bed which the spinach is really delicious but it's kind of sparse so we're not allowed to pick it that much. But in between the spinach are what looks like maybe weeds and they actually I think they are a type of weed but this is like chickweed and it's so good it's tender and it's sweet it's not got any kind of bite to it and you can just go in between your spinach leaves here and pick tons of chickweed and they make a great salad and then so this is what's all growing in the garden right now arugula I love this in salads um, but not so much in juice. I'm not going to pick that one. And then there's all the lettuces along here, but usually I like to juice the darker greens, even though you can juice any kind of lettuce. These are the fava beans. And my new favorite thing, I hadn't had fava bean leaves before this, is to um, chop them up and put a sesame seed dressing and sauerkraut on them and I've been having those like every night but you can juice these too they have a really um, mild flavor but very distinct flavor and then over here is the kale bed and there's so many different types of kales here and a lot of them are going to seed but when they are and they sprout up like this one thing that's still a good use they're still a good use for um, is juicing because you can just juice the whole stalk. It doesn't matter if the leaves have gotten small on there um, because it still makes a lot of juice and they're really fresh and water rich. So sometimes if things have gone to seed and they get pulled up or even just aren't going to be used so much more, then you can take the tops and still use them in juice so nothing gets wasted. There's a beautiful broccoli in here. Broccoli is good juiced. I won't pick this one because it's probably going to be better if we make a dressing and eat it whole, but you can juice broccoli as well as cauliflower. For instance, this cauliflower here has gotten all funky because when they get older, if you don't pick them right away, they get funky. And even this one to the extreme, but you can juice this and it still has a really mild sweet flavor. It's great looking too. And I got a really cool shoot out of this middle of this purple cabbage. It looks like this. Purple and green, beautiful colors. And just all this extra stuff, as long as it's not dried up or yellow, then you can just juice it even if it's not perfect for other uses. For salad uses. Pretty much. Anything you can juice, but things get stronger as they get juiced. So if it's extremely spicy um, flavor, it's going to get intensified. And things like radishes and arugula, when you juice them, they're going to get stronger. So maybe just juice a little bit of them. In here is all carrots. They're not quite ready yet, but when they're ready, of course, you can always juice carrots. Peas. I love to juice pea greens because they're they make the juice super sweet but I'm not going to pick any of these because we're letting them make as many peas as possible. Maybe when the pea season is over and there's just lots and they're going to get pulled up, then we'll juice pea juice. And then these, of course, the big ones, um, you know, they make, if you get from the bottom of the stalk and you juice the whole stalk and this whole big fat leaf, you can get a good juice off of just a couple leaves. Um, chard is always good. Wow, look how big this spinach got. <sighs> That's good. Chard, I always like that in the juice. And you can juice a combination of greens. You don't have to just do all dino kale or all one certain kind of green. I usually pick a lot of different things and make a medley. Here's a big piece of parsley. These things are growing like out of proportion. <laughs> Another favorite thing that some people don't know you can juice is like fennel, like this is like fennel anise flavor, 
and you can just take the stock from the bottom and put that through your juicer and it makes the coolest flavor. So I, lo I love juicing meats. They smell so delicious. And uh, oh, the one other thing I wanted to show about juicing, we'll go back this way so you can see the rest of the garden. Nasturtium, I like to juice a nasturtium leaf. That c puts a cool like zing to your juice. But again, not too many of those. Cilantro and parsley are great to juice. Um, maybe when when we're done eating this and there's just a big long stalk, we could juice that for cilantro flavor. You can see this herb bed since last time I filmed has gotten tons of new herbs. There's thyme and oregano and marjoram, sage, as well as the parsley and the cilantro. But usually we don't juice that many herbs just because it's so nice to have those flavors in your um chopped up in your salad. There's even chives, and I know I've seen recipes where people juice onion into their juice for a little onion flavor, or a little clove of garlic into a veggie tomato juice. I've never done that before, but apparently quite healing. You could use pansies, but that would be a way to keep, they're so delicious to eat just how they are. Pansies have this really cool flavor, you can't even describe it. Oh, and here's the fig tree. And it has little baby figs on it. So we're looking forward to fig season. Those are my favorite. Yeah. That's the fig tree. Okay, so I just have to show the sorrel. Over here. Okay, well this is just bolted types of greens and the you can always juice the stems. These are like way too tough to eat. That was really hard to pick. It's very fibrous, but just put it through your juicer and you squeeze the valuable juice out of it. Flowers and all. Get a little pollen in there. What I really wanted to show you was the sorrel, which is back here. And it looks kind of like clovers and it has these yellow flowers. And these, when you put them in the juice, they make this nice, refreshing lemon tang kind of flavor very unique and you can get the stems and the um, these clover parts as well it's not just the flowers and this stuff is really good so usually I'll probably pick a few more different greens here and oh look there's a whole bunch of more of that there I'll probably pick a few more greens look here's some different colored shards Got the yellow chard. Beautiful colors. Get a nice variety of colors. And the red chard. This is one you see in the store when you can buy rainbow chard. And there's even like this almost like candy cane pink stripes one. This is going to be my favorite. <laughs> Look at this color. Who's in the bushes? Film Penny. Who's in the bushes? Are you ready for your green juice, Penny? Penny looks like she rolled in some dirt. She's a grass eater, but she'll probably throw that up a little later on. Okay, so I'm going to pick a few more things and then go in and make my green juice. I'll mix this with some celery. Celery's on sale right now. And some cucumber and then just as much apple as you need to make it taste yummy or sometimes a slice of lemon. And that will be the juicing of the day. So that's all the different things you can grow. <laughs> and this is March um, 20, 20 something in Northern California. So those are all the things you could have growing in your garden if you get to garden.